Welcome citizen to a new video. Today we are in 3.23 EPTU and this new patch brings improvement finally in the servers. Finally I can play the game. The graphics has been also improved, the Vulcan is improved and finally the DLSS or upscaling is working. It gives me a few extra performance FPS. Also for my GPU which is 3090 these settings work the best it gave me like over 10 fps more so i put water very high and planetary volumetric clouds very high when i put them on a high it's total catastrophe i i, I have without dls around 20 fps on orison with the quality and everything on very high from 20 to 40 mostly in the 35 range so real nice improvement so finally we are going to try and test our huge course here now let us switch to the scm speed for some reason i cannot switch to scm speed okay finally now we see some improvements here also as you can see on my right side now we have 1809 nights for 85 bees and 1500 for 84 bees which is great improvement we still have some bugs with the ui and flickering for example we cannot see the full hood if i boost no it doesn't show never mind we will try okay we have a crosshair now to fight this enemy oh we have some few we have freelancer cutlass black and another cutlass black. Oh, I like this. Finally, to see how our Corsair stacks up against heavier enemies. But I have to say, the graphics is on completely another level in this new patch. I just love it. It's amazing. Alright, we are almost here. Let's see how much ammo do we need. Oh my god, that shredded the cutlass for like nothing. Wow. The Corsair is amazing. Let's switch to gimbal mode. Okay. The gimbal mode is a little bit jerky. It's a little bit harder to use gimbal than a fix. Wow, what the hell? But we still shred like crazy. Oh my god, this auto aim is terrible. Let's switch off the gimbals, okay, let's try it my way. It's very hard to hit this little circle to actually make a damage on a ship. Can't believe the server is finally playable. Oh, that was nice. Soft killed. He's falling down. Nice. Let's see him crashing down. I don't know what altitude I am, but it will be interesting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he broke two into a pe two pieces. Nice. Now, where's that freelancer? What the hell is going on here? Oh, this is a server problem. Look at that. He's all over the place. Yeah. Now, we can finally see how the NPCs see us. Here and there, jumping. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is funny. Steady, steady as he goes. Damn. Wow, the Corsair is powerful in master modes, guys. It's retained his power. He has the gimbals now, but the gimbals are terrible. At least at this server. Maybe in the future they will be better. Alright, this was nice. Okay, let's do a one more mission to see how this ship shreds. The speed of the Corsair is also a little bit improved, I think. It's now almost 1000 meters per second, which is hilarious because the Anvil F8C Lightning can now only fly 1100 meters per second. Before it could 1350 meters per second, which is crazy. 
Now <laughs> the 400i is faster than I'm left it's lightning. They really nerfed him. Okay. Let's fly to Selin. Damn, this looks everything amazing here. Let's see how the entering the quantum drive looks now. Smooth as hell. My god. This really looks amazing. Oh, look at the Selen. I love the Selen because it looks almost like our moon. At least in my eyes. Wow. The Vulcan implemented in a Star Citizen is just amazing. And the improvements to the graphics is also just really, really nice. It's such a relief to finally be able to play normal and test this game. I had a comment like, if you don't like the game, go play something else. I love the Star Citizen. I know that takes time for development, but when you have so bad servers that it is impossible to test, CIG has to do something about it. It's not just complaining, it's actually giving way to see for them that something is wrong. Oh, just smoothly flying. Particularly in this new 3.23 patch, the terrain looks amazing. I could just fly around and, and watch the terrain. In fact, I had to do that just for fun. When I find a nice server, I will do that. Oh, this is a bunker mission. The brand is a bunker. Okay, never mind. We have seen the, how the Corsair function. Now let's go down and take those weapons down. That is also test for a Corsair. And then go inside of a bunker and see how the bunkers are now working. Are they working at all? Oh, damn, that shredded <laughs> those weapons easily. Okay, there's more of them. Maybe I'm also already dead. I do not know because of the bad server. Okay. I have to kill them as fast as possible because the server is unpredictable. Okay. We have one more there. What the hell? Ah, oh, there he is, there he is, he's shooting in front. Kill him before he kills me. Nice. It seems that we don't have to use a lot of ammo now to kill these turrets. I think I got them all. Did I? Yes. Alright. Let's land here. Okay, that's good. Good enough for me. Turn off the ship. Oh, I have this beautiful armor. Arden SL. It is Archangel on CIG site. I never tested this armor and I really like it, so I decided to take, give it a spin. And yeah, it's amazing. I melted some, some of my old armors that I didn't use and bought this one. Really like it so far. I don't know why I haven't tried it before. Damn, this looks amazing, guys. Look at this. You actually need to click only once. And you're going inside of the bunker. Real nice. Let me see the FPS in the bunker. Really nice. 50 FPS. Okay. There's an enemy. Oh, they look realistic when they die. Have to be careful though. They probably can see me and I cannot see them yet. Nice. Have to be real, real careful. Oh, here's one more. Oh, I killed him with a knife. Nice. So now, if you have a quick knife, you do not have to equip it. Just press the middle mouse and it will kill him automatically. Look at this. Oh, come on. Do it. Yeah. Oh my god, he has a friend. Nice. I like this. <laughs> he survived it. <laughs> okay, okay. There's our enemy. We have killed him. The bunkers are working nicely. Finally. The servers are still a little bit monkey, but at least we can test it. Finally, the first finished mission in the new patch. 
I'm proud of you, CIG. Thank you. Oh, there's one more enemy there. Hello, my little friend. Damn, I like this. Look at... <laughs> he didn't realize he's dead. There, there's more friends. Okay, there's one more here. I'm not here. We're just dreaming. Bye-bye. Yeah, he was still... Okay, you I need. I need some aim for my gun. You are dead. Just, just die. Nice. It's so easy now to loot and fast. This will put in the backpack. Cool. Cool. I love it. Look at my FS9. Can I expect it? Nope. But it looks amazing though. Yeah. Finally having some fun in an EPTU. I really miss this, guys. The FPS is phenomenal. 60 FPS in bunker. Real nice. It seems the more I play, the more stable game becomes because it creates the shaders and all thing. I don't know, I'm not expert for the game, but it's getting better. That was it, my fellow citizens. You have seen it. The EPTU can be finally tested. My character approves it. I really like the ideas that they have implemented. Really, really like the graphics. Just need a little bit more improvement on the server side so that we can finally really play it. What are your thoughts about the new updates? Do you think it will be even better? Write down in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and share. And until next video, have fun out there citizens. Exploring.